Welcome Scorpios and thank you for being here today. This is your weekly love message for week commencing Monday the 4th of October through to Sunday the 10th of October 2021. On the left hand side will be your crowning message cards and on the right hand side your crowning wisdom message cards. So Scorpios let's jump straight in and see what your overarching crowning message is for the week ahead. With regards to your channeled message Scorpios I was picking up Either you are having some sort of doubt or whoever you're connecting with is having some sort of doubt about building a future with each other. Um, and it may be coming from a place of fear or confusion over something that was said, but you're definitely connecting with your soulmate. I would also say that the two of you feel like home to one another. I was picking up feeling like home to one another. You both feel quite comfortable in each other's space. Um, but whatever it is that is, um, if you want to address this, Scorpio, uh, I feel that you're being guided to uh, wait because it feels as if you need to um, like recharge or ask for advice or uh, like spend some time with friends there might be some information that's going to come to you through either friends or family um, that will help you with regards to a conversation over whether or not whether or not this person and you are going to continue trying to build a future or want to pick something up to build a future I don't know but let's let's uh, get some more information my angels and spirit guides oh, thank you so we have got love. OK, so whoever you're connecting with, um, you've got a lot of love for this person. And I feel that they've got a lot of love for you. But there's something that you're being guided to take back your power. So do you know what? It may be you that's feeling really doubtful uh, whether or not this person wants to build a future with you, whether or not they love you. <clears throat> and whatever that doubt is, it's coming from a, a, a place of fear or uncertainty, okay? That's why I feel that you're being guided to wait. Um, take some time out, recharge, ask, um, you know, family, friends um, for support or help. Um, you may need to just run some scenarios by them. Uh, but the crux of the situation is, is that it feels as if you doubt whether or not this person wants to build a future with you, whether or not they love you. And it's coming from a place of um, uh, either fear or anxiousness. Um, and I feel that you're being guided to take back your power, basically. Uh, trust the situation. OK, so career uh, might be something that is uh, creating that doubt or that fear. Um, either you feel that there is some sort of lack financially or in terms of um, 3D material stuff uh, that is creating that doubt or fear or apprehension as to whether or not this person wants to build a future with you. You may be quite feeling as if... Um, uh, that you're not at the same level or it, it, it could it, it could be vice versa um but it's something to do with finances something to do with your career either you feel lack you're not at the same level as this person um or or they are feeling kind of lack they're not at the same level many of you may even be focused on your career at the moment um in order to build your finances um and that is probably why you may have spent a bit of time maybe focused on your career, not enough time uh, focused on love, um, uh, focused on love with this person. And that is possibly why you're feeling a bit doubtful. Does this person still love you? Do they still want to build a future with you? Um, I feel that you're being guided to take back your power, come out of that energy. But before you address anything with this person, I feel as if you're being guided to ask for help from your friends, family. Um, a chance in the wind so yeah it feels as if you're going back and forth you're really really it's you uh scorpios that are uncertain doubtful um whether or not this person still loves you whether or not they want to build a future with you um yeah it feels as if you're going back and forth like like almost like do they don't they you remember when you used to be young you used to have what is it those buttercup 
buttercups. Um, they love me. They love me not. They love me. They love me not. That's that's what that fit that what that energy feels like to me. Let's continue. Oh, look at that beautiful TikTok. Time isn't running out. You may feel that time is running out. Um, but this TikTok, this is all about um, letting you know that divine timing is always perfect. Time isn't running out for you in this person. That's possibly why they're saying take some time to recharge. Like get your grounding, get your, um, it's like get your mojo back, this empowerment. Get, you know, get yourself back on track. Um, whatever it is you feel doubtful about this connection, if they love you, do they want to build a future with you? Is time running out? I feel that it isn't okay. Clean it up. So I feel to be honest with you, this is about, um, clearing away, um, uh, cleaning up your, uh, how can I put it? Um, your thinking, to be honest with you. I mean, technically this card is about, um, uh, giving your uh giving your home a spring clean um clearing out the clutter but for me in context with your channeled message and your crowning message it almost feels as if you're being guided to clear up the clutter um in one one's mind um whatever this doubt is whatever this uncertainty is whether or not this person wants to build a future and whether or not they love you you're being guided i feel to sweep that out uh, time isn't running out um and if you're feeling it a little bit kind of back and forth do they love me don't they do they love me don't they take back your power and it feels as if you're being guided to just trust divine timing is always perfect time isn't running out okay for you and this person all right so scorpios if this message is resonating for you already please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video subscribe if you haven't done so already it really really does help to push the video out to other scorpios if you do choose to subscribe um it does enable you to uh receive those notifications of when i'm uploading new messages and of course scorpios it does help to support the channel so thank you in advance for that support and encouragement existing subscribers Subscribers, welcome, welcome, welcome back. Thank you for all of your support, um, encouragement and donations. It's really, really appreciated. Um, and I hope you get a useful and meaningful message out of this week's reading. Let's do this, uh, Scorpios. Let's see what's going on with you and your soulmate. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you tell me how does the soulmate of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love week commencing monday the 4th of october through to sunday the 10th of october 2021 what is their current energy spiritually emotionally mentally and physically towards scorpio that i'm allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all as above so below and all around me thank you um you know what they're just saying to me? Uh, this love is also about you taking back your power and applying self-love to yourself. You deserve this love. You deserve to give love, receive love. And if you're feeling a bit kind of unsure whether or not this person um, loves you, whether they want to build a future, maybe you feel that the career that you're in, the money that you earn isn't sufficient, it's not at the same level as the person uh, that you are connecting with or vice versa. Uh, and you may be focused on your uh, finances. Um, and as you're focusing on it, you're thinking, it almost feels as if you may feel, I should say, um, that time is running out to come together with this person. Uh, it's time to kind of declutter that mind, declutter that thinking um, and take back your power. Trust and believe in this connection because time isn't running out for the two of you. All right, let's um, uh, let's let's do this. Uh, Scorpios, any of the cards that jumped out in your pre-shuffle whilst meditating for this uh, reading, if they come out on camera, I will uh, call it out for you straight off the bat. Whoever you're connecting with, um, Scorpios, uh, I feel as if they know or they see you as somebody that has um, a lot of love for them. Okay, um, 
they see you as somebody that's really 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 loving um somebody that has unconditional love um for them you may also see this person um you may also be very very much in love with this person and you feel that there's some sort of doubts about that love do they love you you're uncertain but let's continue my angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you tell me how does the soulmate? Thank you. Okay, so it feels as if whoever you're connecting to, I feel that this is the other person, the person that you're connecting to. They've got a lot of love for you, but it feels as if you doubt it. They do want to come in and they want to uh, have a serious conversation. Might be to talk to you about their career. So they may be feeling, they may be the person that's feeling a bit lack. Okay. Like they don't have uh, enough um, to, to build a future with you. Um, with the seven of coins, I feel as if this person um, has nurtured this connection. I would also say that they do have quite a bit of money, actually. Or you see them as having quite a bit of money. So again, um, Somebody's feeling a bit uh, not at the same level. Um, but this person has definitely put in a lot of work, has nurtured this connection. And I would say that they've got a lot of love for you. They want to have a, a conversation and you are thinking about them a lot. Yeah, look at that. Um, you're the one that's kind of unsure, unsure whether or not this person loves you, unsure whether or not you have enough money to add to this connection, to nurture this connection, to build this future, wishing, dreaming about this person. You're very much in your thoughts about them. Wow, because uh, they are your happiness, your wish fulfillment. And that's why it feels as if it's time running out because it feels as if the two of you are not in a relationship for some reason. But you, I feel that this person is the one for you. You feel like this is the one for you. It's time running out to build a future for this person. Uh, sorry, build a future with this person. Um, I would say that both of you have um, put in a lot of effort into this connection. Um, but I am picking up, they they are the ones that have uh, put in, uh, really nurtured this connection. But you're doubting it for some reason. Let's let's get some clarifiers just to see what's going on. Thank you. Okay, so with the Ace of Wands in reverse, it feels as if their, look, their hand is coming towards you. So it feels as if this person wants some sort of new beginning um wants a new start they want to reach out to you take action towards you in some shape form or another um it does feel as though um either they are feeling a little bit uh there's some sort of delay in them reaching out to you um I don't know why they might feel that there's an ending, but it feels as if they want to take action towards you. But there's a delay. There's a delay. Let's get some more information. My angels and spirit guides, please can you um, clarify? How does the soulmate of uh, Scorpio... Thank you. All right, this person... Okay, there's been some sort of... Um, I don't know, some sort of uh, either silent treatment or something was said um, that they want to put behind them and move forward. Whatever conversations um, has been had, it feels like this person wants to come in and have a serious conversation, um, clear something up, sort something out, but they're delaying they're delaying moving forward to have this serious conversation with you. So they may even doubt whether or not you love them. Thank you. And we've got the strength in reverse. So this person, um, you could have Leo in your chart or this person could have Leo in their chart. Um, but with the strength coming in reverse, it feels as if this person is struggling to come forward 
struggling and not really having the strength and the courage to come forward to have this serious conversation they might feel that something's ended between the two of you and that would make sense because if you're a little bit like do they love me do they not it could also mean that you how can i put this are giving this person mix mixed messages like one minute you're kind of um coming forward and then you kind of pull back then you come forward then you come pull back and um, it's you changing your mind it's like really uncertain really not sure um this person almost feels as if um have you ended things with them which is why they are feeling not so strong to move forward and have a conversation with you but they do want to do that Thank you. Okay, so it feels as if this person um, it feels as if this person either cut you out, which it might explain why you feel really unsure if this person um, wants to build a future with you or whether or not they love you. I feel the reason why they're feeling quite weak or why they may have cut you out is because they thought that you ended it with them. But there's some sort of victory that's coming in because it feels as if they're going to come towards you to have some sort of conversation. Even though they feel a bit weak to have the conversation, they're going to come quite open, like, they're open to have a conversation, but they're going to be quite protective of their heart, okay? Um, there is victory because whatever has been nurtured in this connection or whatever seeds have been planted between the two of you, um, it's coming from a place of happiness, abundance, victory, prosperity. Um, and I feel that this conversation that they're going to have with you is going to make you really happy. It's going to make them really happy. Because um, you want to build a future with them. Look at that ten of coins. Um, that card came out in your pre-shuffle. So it's you that really wants to build a future with this person. It feels as if you appreciate a lot of time and energy has gone into this, it got into this connection to nurture it. And there is happiness. There's victory here. If the two of you can um, come together, that's why I feel that they're saying take back your power and trust um, in this building this future with this person look at that 10 and 10 so whatever is going on between the two of you it's coming to a completion something is coming um to an end if the two of you aren't talking or you're not on the same page it feels as if it's coming to an end and it also feels it's going to bring you both a lot of um happiness abundance like they say divine's timing is always perfect it also could mean that Divine Spirit Universe is coming up to clean out any kind of misunderstandings, miscommunication between the two of you. Both of you could be doubting whether or not you, you know, the other person loves each other, whether or not you guys want to build a future with each other. And look at that. This person's coming towards you victorious or you're going to feel victory. Um the two reefs here you see this person as long-term commitment marriage material you know categorically this is the person for you but notice your back is towards them so it's you that's doubting whether or not this person wants to build a future with you and it feels as if that's what you're thinking about thank you oh wow you want reconciliation you, do you know something you've got a soul contract with this person um, and you do feel that this is, it would be very victorious being like building a future with this person. Um, you want reconciliation. You want to balance out the scales. You kind of want to know where you stand with this person. Um, you could be dealing with a Libra or you could have Libra in your chart. Yeah, look, you want to, um, you want to be around this person. You want to be around this person, celebrate this connection, build this future because they are your happiness. They are your wish fulfillment and any kind of misunderstanding, 
any kind of arguments, any kind of heartache over discussions, you want to put it behind you and you want to move forward. And isn't it interesting because that's what they want to do, but this person feels very weak at the moment. I feel that I need to pull a couple more for you. Let's continue. Please, can you give me more information for our Scorpios, please? Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's a lot. Okay. So it feels as if uh, this person's been through a period of uh, healing, coming out victorious, which we can see here. Uh, you could be dealing with a Cancerian or you could have cancer in your chart. This person... Um, it feels as if they were also unsure whether or not you loved them, whether you want to build a future with them. Um, you guys could be at a distance from each other, different backgrounds, but this is victory over healing. Uh, they felt really unbalanced or they feel really unbalanced and that's what they want to talk about. You are really over analysing conversations, um, something that's kept you up at night with this person. So with the amount of swords that's here, I would say that the two of you are not talking at the moment. Um, and that is possibly what has created a lot of doubt, whether or not either one of you want to build a future with each other, whether or not you still love each other, whether or not there is love. Um, you're being guided to take back your power, definitely. Um, take back your power, reach out to this person, um, put aside fear. And I did see that um, in your channel's message, whether or not it was out of fear um, that that doubt um, was there, whether or not uh, this person loved you. Look, this person wants to put in the work, the seven of coins. So this person has put in a lot of work and I feel that they do want to continue putting in the work. But whatever this doubt is, whether or not you still love them, you still want to build a future with them. Um, they thought you ended things. And so if they pulled back their energy, it's because they were kind of processing it it feels like coming to terms with it but it feels as if they do want to have a serious conversation now because it's like something hasn't closed out they don't know how how you how the wind is blowing for you do you want to build a future do you still love them and it feels as if you're thinking about the same thing but there's not a lot of communication going on between the two of you and it feels as if divine spirit universe is coming in to clear this all up clean up this uh clutter that's going on with you and this person look this person does want to fight for this connection balance it out fight for it know where understand um uh, where how things stand look at that right at the center of the reading the ten of swords this card came out in your pre-shuffle um so it feels as if both of you are really really confused as to yeah whether or not either one of you want to build a future whether or not you love each other what's happening bit of confusion as to basically it almost feels as like what are we uh, you know are we a couple are we going to go for this or are we going to walk away? You definitely, you guys are definitely not talking at the moment. Thank you and thank you. Oh my God, look at that. What the heck happened here, Scorpio? You are like properly in your head. Like I would say that like you are like really, really tortured by conversations, regret really keeping you up at night. I wonder if there's been people that have um, been talking to you that have really confused things. Um, that's look, With the amount of swords that's on your side, it kind of explains why, uh, your, why, why your channeled message was um, to, to, to wait, basically. To wait, to recharge, to ask your spirit team, reach out to friends and family, people that know you really well, not any, just any and anybody. But reach out to the people that really, really, really know you, your, your confidants, um, because it feels as if they might impart some sort of knowledge to help clean up your thinking. But this person wants to come towards you with this cup of love. But it feels as if they're really hesitant. Wow. Okay. 
All right, so wait before you have this conversation. Wait, um, recharge yourself. I feel that you definitely need to clear out this energy of um, overthinking, um, almost going through a lot of regret, uncertainty, confusion, whatever it is, um, over whether or not this person <coughs> wants to build a future or whether or not they love you, they do, but they feel that you ended things. And that would explain why you, all of these swords are on your, on your side, because it feels as if your mood um, was kind of swinging back and forth between this person. Your advice, focus, you're in need of a clear direction, decide what you want in life. Yeah. Yeah. Hence why your spirit team is coming in. It's time to clean up your thinking, make a decision, focus on what you want. And I feel go for it. If you want this person, it feels like you need to just go for it. Um, like stop overanalyzing, um, take back your power um, and, and, and go for what you want. If you want this person, let's continue. My angels and spirit guides, please can you tell me your advice for Scorpio, sun, moon, rising? Thank you. And look at that. Stay positive. Enjoy this positive time. Smile. Know that everything is going well. You guys will work this out. Like they say, time is um, the greatest healer. But also as well, divine timing is perfect. Time isn't running out for, for you and this person. But it feels as if you do need to recharge. Clear some of that um, overthinking in your mind. And take back your power. Trust and believe everything is okay holiday okay it's time to go on that holiday that you have been dreaming about live life do you remember i said with this chariot you guys might be in different locations maybe you need to take a bit of a vacation go visit this person speak to them face to face and feel it out um the situation um go and visit them go and see them take that holiday or if it's somebody that you are already in a relationship and you feel that things are just going in a very different direction to you want uh, to what you want it to go on decide what you want um it almost feels as if uh clear out your mind declutter your mind take a holiday oh do you know what maybe take a holiday to recharge because it did say your channeled message did say to wait um, and to recharge yourself so maybe some of you need to take a break take a holiday clear your thoughts but also reach out to family and friends, ask for their advice, ask for help. Um, it does feel as if you're going to get, it feels as if you're going to get some sort of information that's going to help you on this journey to focus, take back your power, clear out this real ugh, yucky. This is not, not nice. All these swords here, um, really, really overanalyzing, um, massive you know really keeping you up at night uh definitely recharge clear out that energy before you approach this person um but you may want to go and visit them okay if you're in different countries almost like you know you know striking a bird with um two birds with one stone take a bit of a break to recharge maybe you need a different scenery um you know rock up in a hotel or something and you know, go and see the country and then, you know, maybe, you know, the last couple of days of your holiday, then reach out to this person and just say, you know, by the way, I'm I'm here, I'm in the same country as you, do you fancy hooking up? Um, but keep positive because actually I think you'd be really surprised that this person does want to fight for this connection. Um, they certainly have got a lot of love for you, but just be mindful. They thought that you ended things. OK, I think I'm going to leave that there for you, uh, Scorpios. If this message does resonate, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Until next time, my beautiful Scorpios, I'm sending you loads and loads of love, peace and light. You take care. Bye bye.